All right, so this is gonna be the first rat. Um, this is actually Sunday. I didn't come out the next day like I was planning. Come out the next day like I was planning. Um, ended up uh, having a really bad storm and I didn't want to be out here in that. Not to mention I was really tired. Didn't feel like it. Um, this one did catch a rat. Um, this makes rat 100 for the season so far. So um, this is going to be a really quick video. I'm not going to show any of the uh, empties. Uh, it's, there's a really bad storm and I don't really have a choice. I have to trek today. So um, bear with me. And uh, like I said, this is going to be a really short video. My last one, kind of a short one, it's going to be kind of imminent. Um, that other one, it's still trying to upload. It's um, three days later, so it's still trying to upload. It's almost two hours long, so um, I can see why. But anyways, let's All get right, done. Well, we're at that spot with the four footholds. This one was empty. That one had a rat. That one over there had a rat. And this one had a rat. So I moved this one over a little bit. It looks like they're coming out right here. So three rats um, on this spot that makes um, four for the day. So hopefully we'll try to keep track of them and see how many we get at the end of the day. But like I said, the storm's rolling in. I gotta get moving. So I'll catch you guys at the next set. All right, we're going to go right here. Um, another big beaver on that set. Last time, uh, field building some chips was on the mound. I got it reset in the same spot. And uh, we put Trapper Tree's Coon Candy. So like I said, that storm's moving in. I gotta get going. Well, got this little dinky rat. And this is the one that was in my colony. The two cotton bears that are over there are empty. Um, the one we moved right here is empty as well. I don't know if it's the run's a little lower or what, but I didn't have that colony in the right spot, so I got it moved over. It looked like they could go around it, so <clears throat> I got it moved over and uh, we'll move on. Line. We'll move on down. Oh, we got another one. Um, this one's kind of soggy, so it's been in there for a few days. Um, the size hasn't been very good. That one's a decent size one, but a few of those other ones are really small. It was just this caster mat or this uh, <clears throat> toilet. There's a trail coming out of this little patch of reeds here. So I moved it over to where it looks like that trail where they're coming down that trail. Um, there's a toilet right here, but I want to try to see if there's a bank coming out there or something. Anyways, all right. Well, this feed pile paid off um, with a another rat but it's kind of a small one so anyways we got the last couple sets right there so uh <coughs> if there's something there i'll show you if not uh we'll get into a, a closing on this right. video well <coughs> these are the last two rats we ended up with today um, i had one on that toilet now he was over here and then i had one in that uh conner bear that i moved the other day so these are my last sets Um, these are my last sets. So, like I said, if you uh, if you like this video, made it this far, you know maybe there's something you like. Please consider subscribing. Um, I still have a few more weeks, or about I have ten days left of my muskrat early muskrat season. Um, I'm gonna pull all my traps. I mean, I can trap them all the way through, but I'm gonna pull all of my traps so that um, I can go bobcat trapping. Uh, probably about the time you're watching this video i'm doing my first check so um i'm gonna go hopefully i'm gonna go pick up a razor this week um i found one for fairly good price with uh with a trailer and everything so <clears throat> hopefully that'll come that'll all work out and i'll be able to have i'll be able to have that and it'll make trapping uh dry my dry land trapping stuff a lot nicer but um Anyways, like I said, um, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and uh, throw me a like. And, you know, let me know if, if you guys want to see something else, see anything that you see what I'm doing. I mean, it's not really, not really very, very hard. That's one of the great things I love about muskrat trapping is it's not very hard. So, um, anyways, thanks for coming with me on my adventure and peace out, guys. All right, I'm not going to complain about that. I ended up coming home with a, a bonus bonus road badger heck yeah man